Imagine a world without sight or sound, and yet feeling the pulse of the universe instead. Here's something that'll make you question everything you think you know about consciousness. What if I told you that Helen Keller, before she learned language, might have been living in what our content creator, Chris, calls the Eden state, a pure superposition of consciousness that most of us lose in childhood? See, he is working on a hypothesis he calls the Eden hypothesis that describes consciousness as starting in perfect superposition, like Schrodinger's cat, but instead of being alive and dead simultaneously, we exist in all possible states of awareness at once. Then, bit by bit, as we learn language and make choices, this beautiful quantum soup collapses into binary thinking. But Helen Keller? She lived in that liminal space far longer than most. Stay with me, because what if her limitations weren't walls, but secret doors to deeper knowing? Listen to her own words. When I learned the meaning of I and me and found that I was something, I began to think. Then consciousness first existed for me. But here's the kicker. She described her pre-language state not as emptiness, but as pure, undifferentiated awareness. Think about it, love. Without words to categorize experience into good or evil, self or other, she existed in what the Eden hypothesis calls the original state of consciousness. No serpent of language had yet whispered those fatal binaries into her awareness. And recent research is backing this up. Groundbreaking studies in 2024 suggest our brains perform quantum operations and experimental evidence now supports quantum consciousness models. What if sensory limitation doesn't diminish consciousness, but actually preserves its quantum coherence? Helen also described something she called a soul sense, a sixth touch, memory of nature, vibrating in each of us. That instantly made me think, could sensory limitation actually awaken a new kind of perception? a quantum-like field where everything is connected by touch, smell, the warmth of memory. The Eden hypothesis suggests we're all trying to return to that original superposition state. That's what enlightenment really is, not gaining something new, but remembering what we never actually lost. So here's my question for you. What if the goal isn't to overcome our limitations, but to recognize them as gateways to deeper truth? Drop your thoughts below I'd love to hear what resonates with you. Until next time.